Hi, welcome to my trading day recap. I started with two losers today. First one, Mara moved in here short and moved out with a stop over the highs. Same thing happened to Riot. I moved down here for a short and uh, over the highs for a stop. So both of them are down. I'm losing four grand in Mara and seven grand in Riot, but I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up because both of them has an amazingly extended daily. They're moved up so much. And in fact, I got prepared to this trade a week ago, you see that note over here? It got the symbols of both and another one which I shorted yesterday, MVIS. So I'm looking for an opportunity now to short both of them for the second time. I'm looking for a failure. Now, both of them moved up, closed the gap, which is fine, but they did start with a huge gap down today, 7% around. So that tells me that they are likely to come down. This should be a gap and go, and I'm gonna get my second chance of shorting them both today. So I'm looking to short Mara somewhere under $46 and Riot under $76. And I'm looking to the point of no return. So you can see they're kind of trying to move higher, possibly still trying to trend higher. I don't know that, but now they're coming down. And that will be the point right now, clicking in and shorting a huge number of shares in both. So I just shorted 10,000 shares in both of them. That's Mara, and that's Riot because I do believe that the daily is showing me that they are very, very likely to come down. So, you know, that was a very volatile trade. I didn't really know what to expect. At that point right here, as you can see, they just moved higher. I thought, well, I'm going to have a second loser. I was, in fact, expecting a very big losing day or on the other hand, I was hoping for a very big winning day. And I am waiting for this day for the past week. So again, just follow the way they're coming down. At that point, they're proving to me they want to continue coming down. And I'm going to add another 4,000 shares. Just spike down, as you can see here, added 4,000 shares. Because now it's proving to me that it really wants to come down. Now, since... Mara is very likely to follow. I'm going to short it a little bit before it's going to break down under this recent low. So I'm about to short another 4,000 shares in Mara. And again, I'm looking for a failure in both of them. They're both now coming down very clearly in Riot, not as clearly as that in Mara, but I do expect Mara to come after Riot as well. So here comes the point where I would like to short some more shares in Mara, just shorted here, another 4,000 shares. Now, well, at that point, I was uh, very concerned, I have to say. And I did something which I don't usually do. I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm going to fast forward, of course, so that you can see what happens here. But they're starting to come down. And I'm still aware that I'm, I could have a very big losing day or a very big winning day. So I'm going to place a stop loss. I don't do that. I, I don't do that usually. I'm going to place a stop loss. I'm going to start here with uh, Mara looking for the right stop. And I think it's going to be over 47.50. So I'm, I want to give it some space. 47.51, you always put a cent over a semi whole number. So 51, click the number. As you can see, my stop order is right here in the platform. It shows me where my stop order is for 14,000 shares. So I place a stop order. I never do that. <laughs> I'm going to explain soon. Now I'm going to do the same with Riot. And uh, my stop in Riot is going to be uh, a bit higher, of course, 7801. Uh, Again, sent over a whole number. I'm going to click the button. And as you can see, my stop order is showing on my level two. So at that point, I came to the decision that if I want, if I want to have a big winner, as, as, as I should, because I'm going to show you the daily later, I should just walk away. Never done this before. Never, ever done this before. I did it today for the first time. I decided I'm just going to walk away from the screens and just let it try. So what you're seeing over here, the way that it comes down right now, I'm placing my stop order right here on the screen that you can see. I walked away. I did not see what you guys are seeing right here. So the fact that it's coming down and breaking down under the lows, I had no idea. I was away. The only mental way for me to be able to wait until it comes down under the lows and possibly continues was just walking away from my screens. Never done this before. And you know what? Uh, just take a look at the numbers here. I'm up like seventy, eighty thousand dollars in Riot, and right now over one hundred thousand, one hundred and thirty thousand. And look at uh, Mara, thirty something thousand. I couldn't have done that without walking away. Here comes a new low, and uh, at that point I came back one hundred and fifty-five thousand dollars, taking my partial, 
And uh, here comes Mara again, taking my partial here, $42,000. Both of them absolutely amazing trades. And well, I learned something today. Sometimes, uh, you know, I usually work for a one-to-one -one risk reward, but this time I was looking for much more. And that's mainly because of the daily. Now, take a look at Riot's daily. That stock was two months ago at $2. Now, seriously, the same GME idea is just coming back. And Mara is less extended, but you know, this one was also down quite a bit. So here's the result. <laughs> I'm up $180,000 and I'm still riding them, a uh, small size, but I'm up $180,000. And that's because the kids, again, the Robin Hood kids, or oh, whoever they are, the crypto traders, I don't care. They're driving these stocks crazy. So I was waiting with this note for a week expecting it to come down. I had a few trades during this week. Some, some of them were successful, some of them were wrong. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I made money or lost money, but if I did, uh, very small figures in both of them. So I, I was just waiting. I was waiting for the opportunity, just like I was waiting with my over $1 million tra dollar trade, $1.2 million trade in GME. So look for this video. I was waiting. I was patiently waiting for them to come down. And the day came in today. The opportunity knocked on my door today. Why? Because they both started with a big gap down 7%. So I was expecting a gap and go. You put in everything together, $180,000. Thank you very much for watching this. And if you like this video, we really appreciate if you give us a thumb up. And uh, if you do like to follow more of our day trading videos, you can subscribe right over here and click the notification bell on so you will be notified of my future uploads. And there's plenty of links right here below where you can join us. You can join my trading room for a free 14 day trial and some free courses. And you know, traders, we do the same in our trading rooms. So uh, there's a free trading room, a YouTube trading room and our live trading room, which you can join right here. And there are and you know what? We're trading together. The, the, the stocks I traded today were posted in my trading room. I mentioned exactly what I'm about to do. And several of my trading room members followed me today. And I'll be very happy if you'll be one of them. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you the next days.